James Webb Telescope finally proves modern theories wrong. Big Bang 2? The JWST, or James Webb Space Telescope, is a magnificent technological innovation launched in 2022. The JWST, which will replace the Hubble Telescope, will be outstanding even in years to come as it predicts some of our solar system's most spectacular breakthroughs. The James Webb Telescope has already begun studying the complexities of our galaxy. With the release of its first set of photographs on the 12th of July, 2022, the JWST discovered galaxies that defy the bounds of existing space theories, calling into question everything we know about the universe today. However, the first images from the James Webb Space Telescope triggered a rush of preprint papers and popular science narratives. False allegations that the Big Bang did not occur have made the rounds on social media and in the mainstream. One cosmologist, or scientist who studies the origin of the universe, claimed that the JWST images are causing alarm among cosmologists. This claim is entirely false. The JWST continues to support the Big Bang Theory and cosmologists are not concerned. Why are we witnessing popular social media posts and misleading headlines claiming that the Big Bang did not occur? We need to know where the allegation came from to respond to it and illustrate why we should be skeptical of claims like this. So brace yourself up because this journey into space will be intriguing. So shall we begin with the obvious? The Big Bang Theory is still alive. Despite some widely circulated publications to the contrary, recent observations from the James Webb Space Telescope have not invalidated the notion of the Big Bang. If that's all you need to know, have a wonderful day. How did the entire universe come into being? The Big Bang is said to be the beginning of everything. The idea is that everything suddenly sprung to life everywhere at once. It is challenging to envision everything and everyone existing before the Big Bang. The Big Bang Theory is still the most accurate explanation for the universe's beginning. Cosmologists have shown that the theory adequately accounts for long-term phenomena in space, such as persisting background radiation and element abundances. It's a solid framework for understanding how the universe started over 14 billion years ago. The JWST's unique capabilities allow us to look back into the universe's history more than ever. Because it is an infrared observatory with a large mirror floating outside the moon's orbit, it can gather light from the tiniest, most distant stars and galaxies. This light has been stretched into infrared wavelengths as it has traveled across expanding space for billions of years. This light can see these objects in great detail thanks to JWST's unrivaled angular resolution. We can also use its infrared spectrograph to characterize substances hidden in the atmospheres of potentially habitable exoplanets. Webb's photographs, which were taken barely 100 million years after the Big Bang, show the number of galaxies that are currently visible at the extremities of space. The telescope's shockingly sharp photos might prove astronomers' views about the early cosmos wrong. One study of the JWST's initial deep field image discovered a slew of distant galaxies with disk-like features. Scientists have concluded from Hubble data that close galaxies, such as the Milky Way, have structured patterns like disks, but distant galaxies have more uneven structures. What in JWST's new data shows that the Big Bang Theory is incorrect? I'm referring to the same information that Hubble supplied years ago. The proof for the Big Bang is often based on these three facts. First, the galaxies farther away have higher redshifts than those closer to us. Second, the universe is saturated with cosmic microwave radiation. And third, the relative abundance of elements in the early cosmos. However, the Big Bang theory is based solely on these facts. These facts have also been further expanded by the conventional model of cosmology, which is also known as the LCDM model. That is a cosmos created by the Big Bang Theory out of stuff, dark matter, and dark energy. All data, including the acceleration of cosmic expansion and galaxy clustering, support this now generally accepted view. Furthermore, we may have demonstrated the standard model's validity by examining its predictions for various observational tests. The most recent major bust charges are related to this. One of these supplemental evaluations is the Tolman Surface Brightness Test, which compares a galaxy's surface brightness to its relative size. 
the surface brightness of each galaxy should be about the same, and a larger sized galaxy should be brighter. Galaxies further away would seem fainter and smaller, and the surface brightness would remain constant. In a static, non-expanding universe, all galaxies should have nearly the same surface brightness regardless of distance, according to the Tolman test. But as we can see, this is not the case. The surface brightness of galaxies farther away is lower than that of galaxies closer to us. You'd think this would prove that distant galaxies are moving further away from us, but it doesn't. If those galaxies were racing away, there would be two dimming effects, the growing distance and the redshift. In an expanding universe, the surface brightness of galaxies should decrease proportionally to both the redshift and distance. Only the effects of the redshift are noticeable. This finding has encouraged some people to propose a static universe theory that light loses energy spontaneously over time. According to the Tolman test, if the universe is stationary and light is tired, there will be no Big Bang. According to accepted cosmological theory, the primordial galaxies form from a hierarchical cycle in which smaller star clusters and gas clouds collided to form larger sized emerging galaxies. These early galaxies appear to be slightly more advanced as predicted by JWST data, posing an exciting astrophysical challenge for galaxy evolution theories. There are more galaxies out there than Hubble has ever seen, including those at distances Hubble cannot detect. Some of these galaxies appear to be more advanced, more massive, and in earlier stages than we have previously seen, as well as what many estimates and models projected. While the most recent known record holder from Hubble was 407 million years after the Big Bang, some of them may have been gigantic and quite evolved between 200 and 350 million years later. Many of these galaxies, including the very first ones, have disk-like forms rather than asymmetrical ones. JWST's better imaging and resolving capabilities have demonstrated this, even for galaxies that seem to be asymmetrical blobs with Hubble in the past. Finally, adjacent galaxies appear to be smaller and denser than Hubble detected. Astronomers are continually learning new things about the early universe because of the incredible data provided by JWTS. The irony is that, as anticipated by Big Bang cosmology, the early galaxies were initially smaller and grew larger sized over time as measured by JWST, confirming the Big Bang hypothesis. The unexpected discovery that early universe galaxies are more numerous, massive, and organized than expected does not contradict the Big Bang theory. It means some changes need to be made to the cosmology that follows the Big Bang. This is why science is interesting. Despite what scientific skeptics believe, science is never black and white. We are continually learning to improve our opinions, and there is no malicious effort to quash alternative viewpoints. Science is mainly founded on observation and evidence, which the Big Bang offers in abundance. That's not to suggest that people shouldn't be able to ask questions, rather the intelligent inquiry takes place inside an environment of open-mindedness devoid of preconceived ideas, where views are formed by evidence instead of the other way around. That is precisely how the Big Bang Theory came to be almost a century ago, by building on the, at the time, startling evidence that the universe is expanding, figuring out what this may logically imply, and then verifying it against different predictions. And on that note, we have come to the end of this video. Let us know in the comment section if you think the JWTS proves the Big Bang Theory wrong. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, smash the subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we post a new video.